Apriums, apri plums or plum cots are some of the hybrids between different pruner species. They are also called interspecific plums. Whereas plum cots and apri plums are first generation hybrids between a plum parent Silicina and an apricot, plutes and apriums are later generations. Both names plum cot and apri plum have been used for trees derived from a plum seed parent and are therefore equivalent. Welcome to the Black Phoenix and today we'll be talking about aprium. Floyd Zager created the aprium, a hybrid cross between apricots and plums but more similar to apricots. Apriums are complex plum apricot hybrids that show primarily apricot traits and flavor. Apriums resemble apricots on the outside. The flesh is usually dense and notable for its sweet taste due to a high content of fructose and other sugars. Apriums are usually only available early in the fruit season, like apricots and unlike plutes, which include some very late ripening varieties. Aprium trees grow quickly and are smaller compared to other common homegrown apricots. The fruit is gold with red coloration. Semi-mature fruit is hard and does not ripen if pegged before it's completely mature. Now let's talk about some of their benefits, shall we? These fruits can help individuals with type 2 diabetes. The sugar from them could be slowly absorbed into the bloodstream because of the fiber content, which prevents sugar crashes, sugar cravings, and mood swings. They also aid in the digestion process. Yes, you've heard it right. As with many fruits and vegetables, apriums are a very good source of dietary fiber. Fiber helps to bulk up our stool and facilitates smooth digestion of our food. It can speed up the digestive process, regulate our bowel movements and keep our gastrointestinal system healthy. Fiber also reduces constipation, bloating, diarrhea and cramping, along with more serious conditions like Crohn's disease and gastric ulcers. Finally, fiber can help reduce heart diseases as it prevents the accumulation of excess cholesterol on the walls of the arteries and blood vessels. They can also help in boosting our immunity. The high levels of vitamin C found in apriums mean that they are very good for our immune system. Vitamin C stimulates the production of white blood cells which are main line of defense against foreign substances and dangerous pathogens in our body. That's not all, they also help us in speeding up our healing process. Vitamin C does more than keep us healthy. It also regulates our metabolism and increases the speed at which we develop new tissues and heal our wounds. It is an important part of scar tissue and plays a vital role in the production of muscle tissue, cartilage, dental tissue, skin, tendons and blood vessels. And how can we forget their antioxidant properties? Vitamin A and Vitamin C are two of the most versatile elements in human health. Apriums are great sources of both of these vitamins, which act as antioxidants in the body. Vitamin A can break down into beta-carotene when the body needs this important antioxidant. This means that it helps to boost vision prevent macular degeneration and protect the skin from premature aging. Antioxidants can neutralize free radicals in the body, which are the dangerous byproducts of cellular metabolism. Now one of the most important recent developments in human health has been the significance of water intake in the body. As you may know, our body is composed of more than 70% water. Therefore, Dehydration is a major problem that can lead to serious health problems and metabolic inefficiency. Apriums have unusually high water content, 
so biting into one of these delicious fruits can keep your fluid levels up. They can also help you get healthy hair and great skin. Decent vitamin C intake does not only improve the immune system, but can also create and maintain collagen, an essential protein found in hair and skin. Vitamin A has been known to keep the hair moisturized through increased sebum production. But hey, I get it, not many of us have been able to taste this beautiful fruit, Aprium. If you ever did, then please do tell us how it tastes and where in the world can we get it. And yes, one more thing, if you want us to make a video on any particular topic you have in mind, then please drop your ideas in the comment section. Your support is everything to us. So please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video.